The more than 30,000 nonprofits in New Jersey comprise a significant force in the state's economy, while providing crucial services to hundreds of thousands of clients. Linda Zippo is CEO of the Center for Nonprofits, which is New Jersey's chief umbrella organization representing the state's diverse nonprofit community. I'm Linda Zippo. I'm president and CEO of the Center for Nonprofits. The Center for Nonprofits is New Jersey's umbrella organization for the charitable community. We've been around for over 30 years, and we exist to strengthen the nonprofit sector in New Jersey so that nonprofits can fulfill their missions more effectively. We do that through advocacy and public education to tell the story about how important nonprofits are to the state. We provide direct services and education and workshops and expertise for nonprofits, and we help nonprofits stretch their scarce resources so that they can uh, fulfill their missions more effectively. Center for Nonprofits and I actually found each other when I was an undergraduate. I uh, did an internship here at the center and we kept in touch over the years and when a job opening uh, came about, they uh, got in touch with me. So we've been together for a long time and uh, I've played multiple roles in the Center for Nonprofits and I've been in my current job for about 16 years. Um, I've had many, many mentors over the years from uh, my predecessors in this job, from the colleagues that I've worked with, um, from the folks I get to work with every day in the nonprofit community and on our team at the center and, and through our board. Probably the biggest challenge facing nonprofits across the board is the fact that demand for nonprofit services keeps going up and the resources needed to do the work are not keeping pace. We survey nonprofits every year as, as part of an annual study that we do and every year almost without fail what we find is three quarters to four fifths of our respondents say demand for their services has been going up and they expect it to keep on rising. Unfortunately, the number that say that their funding is going up or that they expect that their funding is going to go up is a lot less, less than half most of the time. So that disconnect isn't sustainable and given how much our society depends on nonprofits socially and economically, that's a real concern and that's something that we try to address in, in many ways. Um, because the funding climate is still very, very tight, nonprofits are doing a lot of different things to try to counteract that. They are collaborating in new and different ways. They're making better use of technology to expand the ways they engage with uh, their donors and raise their visibility. Uh, there are many organizations are exploring more entrepreneurial ways of getting funding, uh, and, and they're exploring new avenues to. Uh, to seek the resources that they need to do the work. Well, like other nonprofits, we're trying to make better use of technology in order to uh, fulfill our mission in, in new and better ways. We are looking to revamp our website. We're going to be adding a new feature called Nonprofit Central, which will be an enhanced clearinghouse and resource for organizations that are looking to connect with each other or connect with expertise. Uh, we are very interested in building our own capacity and we have a strategic plan and a roadmap to get there so that we can be even more effective and, and uh, uh, a stronger advocate and a stronger champion for the nonprofit community. We're also very conscious of issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion in the nonprofit sector, and we are working on some initiatives to focus on that with a special eye on New Jersey. Uh, one thing that's very, very important is for nonprofits to be as fully engaged in advocacy in all its forms as they can be. Uh, not only public policy, which is very, very important because policymakers need that special voice and expertise that nonprofits can provide, but also in ways you know, getting your board more engaged, getting your volunteers more engaged, and telling that important story about what nonprofits do, whether it's your own organization or uh, nonprofits generally. First thing I would say is you know, be open-minded. Um, have a frank conversation so that the expectations are clear. Everybody knows what each other wants out of the relationship. And if it doesn't work, then you know, be frank about what it might take to uh, make the partnership successful, or don't be afraid to walk away as friends if, if it's just not in the cards. But there are a lot of really, really successful things going on between nonprofits and for profits and the government, which we can't uh, leave out as well. So, you know, it, again, it's almost saving the obvious, but 
communication and frank discussion and making sure that all of the expectations are, are spelled out very clearly is a big, big first step.